What's going on, everybody? The Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back in Wreckfest once again here today. We have rolled up at an all-time legendary track that we have featured here on the channel before, but not in Wreckfest. And of course, this one has a little twist on it. We've got the NASCAR legend here today to take on Spa Frank Shaw in Belgium, but with a little twist. Like I said, this is the rally cross layout. We go through Eau Rouge and up Radeon, and then turn around and come right back down and into some dirt over some jumps. And a little later on, we might even throw in some extra ramps and some pinball let's get to it off we go for the first run of the day sorry tony but we had to run you down and pull you out of the way we got to get to this inside i think it's going to be our best bet based on the layout and boy is it ever as we slap daniel emmerich out of the way and he has his revenge decides i need to be put down that was too good of a start here we go right back in the wall jeff gordon's out of the race already at one quarter we got to just back away from this scene i cannot do ready on backwards though we got to flip this thing around we got problems on the other side of this wall here. I see smoke, I see tire barriers getting checked. I see a real lack of competition. Come on, folks, it's a straightaway. We got Decker in the way, we're getting through it. Can I send it from this deep on Alex Bowman? We're gonna find out one way or the other. This isn't working out too well for either one of us. Ha <laughs> ha, give me the spot though. What is he, coming back on me here? Tire check. Oh, get up in my door, why don't you do that? Come on, man, Alex, what are you doing? It is not that deep. You don't get a lead on me all the way to the wall and we're getting run down. No, it's a line. It's a three mile spanking line here. Hit the first corner. Get me out of here. I'm gonna take a look at this with the free cam. I don't even know how Alex got back this close to me. He just leans on us to death. Took me right to the wall. I wasn't trying for that to happen. He made it happen. Mr. Showman showed me the way to the wall in pure agony and despair while I was that and there's more. How hard is it for these bums to make a hairpin corner? It is not that hard. The elevation does not change it that much. And look at this. What is this, Kyle Busch in that Denny Hamlin car? Eminem said, see you later. And FedEx picking up the bill. And look at that. We got wiped out by Chick Hicks. Who could have seen that coming? Attempt number two. Do I even try this outside? Can I wedge it in here? We might not make it to the first corner. If we get all guy in our face and up in the air, we lose a wheel. Tire checked our tire clean off 10 seconds into the race through half of the first quarter. The beam lives on. We're gonna watch this replay. Now to a normal person, this might mean that the outside lane is not optional. We're gonna keep going. How about this for an angle? Imagine you're a track safety worker just sitting in a truck, minding your hook business, and then wham. This car just getting yeeted into the wall right in front of your face. I'm doing a deep analytical dive into this. I wanna see this from the first person perspective as well. Oh, what a hit, what a sound, what a flip. Right back on the wheels too, give me a 10. Back from concussion protocol, we're going right back to the same spot with the same angle. Well, this actually isn't that bad, but certainly isn't great. Uh, excuse me, pardon me, nothing to see here. Oh yeah, not a single one of these guys just tried to make that corner. Dale did it. Nobody's really surprised by that. Shout out to Dale. Pretty easy there, Ross. You pat Kyle on the back a little too hard. He might go out of the race. I think you just shove him into a pile enough to do so. We're gonna hit Derek Cope right in the deuce. Oh, that's just something you hate to see. There's a handful of these nut jobs that can make it through here. How come the rest of them can't do it? I gotta have some answers here. Taking the wide side. I don't know why, but I am. Don't question me right now. We, we're just going for it. Oh my, you wasn't gonna run someone off the road and line them up for the ass pack. Poor alien, the 10 sacrificed himself for that. We we're gonna miss the corner covering all this ass packery. And there's another one. And Cope got by me with that. Come back here, bro. You're not gonna bombard me with ass packery and think you're gonna get away with it. Justin Haley is just gonna run us off the road though before we get a chance to. And he's the one who lays down the revenge. Come on, talk about just stealing my move. All right, dude. Oh, Decker again, hit the same spot. Well, Mark, what's it gonna be, bud? I gotta get through here clean. I'm not getting through here clean. I put it right in the damn tire barrier. That belongs in a hall of shame. That was idiotic. And I've let my arch nemesis of Wreckfest just run all over me. And that, that I'm not gonna live this one down for a while. I can tell. He was so very obviously ahead of me though. And it said 0, 0.0. We were even on the time board. I got so confused and I, I blew it. I'm just gonna push Kyle with the flow of traffic here. and. Hope for the best. Oh, we kind of got turned into the corner. Oh, we just spiraled Natalie Decker. Chick Hicks flipping over the pack. If I just super duper back this corner up and cut it rather than send it 18 miles too deep, we might get to the lead with that. We don't though. We get cut down horribly by Kurt Busch. That was another hard hit. No, uh -oh, is that Kevin Harvick? He's gonna have to fight someone. Give me that white flag lap here. We got some lead cars getting held up. It looks like, oh, there's one. 
just pack smoke through the smoke. You guys can just, you know, step on it in this hairpin like you usually do, and I think they did. What a couple of dumbasses. Don't mind if I do. And we cross over to the dirt for the final time here with the final set of corners. I'll go ahead and put it in the wall myself for good measure. We'll round it way out wide here for the fans. We got, what, 13 seconds of lead to work with. A last tire check here. And that is going to do it. Cross the line. Give me the dub here at spot with the beat down afterwards, too. Give me the crown. Well, they made it really easy on us here in the final hairpin. We went from third to first. 18 gave us a little shot, but not enough to stop us. Just let us know he's mad about it. With that, we came through this final dirt section. Would come home to cross the line. And what we'll do now is get ready to queue up for our next layout. We're going to come get that checkered flag, and we're going to go put on pinball and moon gravity. Well, we are back here at Spa with the new layout, with the added ramps across the track. Absolutely certain that these will cause some extra carnage, but not these alone. We, of course, do have the pinball mod and low gravity enabled. So this is bound to be just as destructive as it gets. It's going to be a miracle if we make it out of the first corner and even see one of these ramps, to be totally honest with you. But there's only one way for us to find that out for real. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Go ahead and cross everything you got ahead of this one for good luck, because I really just see 0% chance of survival. There it is. It's kicking off right early like we suspected. Oh, my. Thank goodness I don't have a passenger. His cars are flying everywhere. My passenger would be in the trunk. They'd be dead. Well, everybody's a tough guy until a tornado of race cars appears in turn one. And we're no stranger to this site, but this was a more violent example that just destroyed everything in view. I think that's fair to say. There is nothing good about being in the middle, and here is going to be a prime example, most likely. We're just doing weird bounces off of people. Oh, my, we're following the track in air. Oh, no, we're not anymore. We're flying off track. We're going to hit some house over here. Oh, we're through the world. Well... We're going to hell. I gotta see the Wreckfest restart that did actually send us to hell. And after we leave the ground right there, I'm not sure we come back. We just enjoy our career in the Space Force until we get over here near this house, in which case you can make an argument we still don't touch the ground because we just phase right through it. Oh, damn. All right, two cars just got smoked right as I was respawning. And the 18 got said he's doing a dance in midair too. Neat. Does pinball make it easier for these guys to make it through the hairpin? Apparently, not quite as I've learned now from first-hand experience. Let me get out of the, oh, 20s going back down the other way. All right. I hear someone hunting me down back there. Who is it? Oh, it's Sterling Marlin. He's in the car Alex Bowman ran me over with earlier too. Oh, that's a bad sign, Sterling. No, there's a corner there, dude. What did you gain? Absolutely nothing. Look at Chick Hicks over here. And it's not even the one. Chick Hicks was merely a distraction for the pullout from beyond the Red Baron. That is just ridiculous. What is this? And we clear the double jump. Oh, no, we're going face first into the double jump, and we lost. What a fabulous way to find out about it. While flying through the air like Ricky Bobby and landing head first, scraping my scalp across the concrete. And at least this time we're landing on the wheels. And there we have it. We actually managed to get this thing to the finish. That is a dub in itself, honestly. Am I going nuts? Oh, I just dumped Ben Road. Sorry about that. Dude, oh, it's coming back to bite us. Holy slid right through the friggin' pile! That was amazing! I just slid underneath that big one on my head! And we're still going in the two just got sent into space. That is a Mars mission and a half right there that we just witnessed, and he's back! I don't know why we started in two wide instead of the usual three or four, but it didn't matter. It didn't last for long anyway. We slid under the crash. Cockpit view is going to have to be mandatory for this one. We took out Ben Rhodes, and that was just the ultimate mistake, apparently. He was the fabric holding the universe together. Without him, we are nothing. Just look at the other side of this. Look at the madness. Oh, I'm about wrecking myself over here looking at it. All right, I got to stop Lucky Lewin. We cannot be throwing away the lead. I don't want to get my hopes up here, but this is looking like a potential W. If we don't get smoked right here by the Red Baron again. Thank you, Jimmy Spencer, for sparing me. I do. Oh, my. I, that, this had, that had bad written all over it. When you see Chick Hicks laying in the road ahead of you, you just know trouble is afoot. And the poor two car. How many times is that two car going to be the victim today? That is unbelievable. And he's still in the air. He hasn't even landed. Oh, wait, no, that's someone else. I'm over here wrecking myself, walking at the wrong car. Who was that? Get off the ramp. What is this? Who? Is this? I don't even think I did that to the 24, but I might take credit for it anyway. Oh, that was Brad, too. I'm sorry, dude. 
the return of Michigander on Michigander Crime. This is unacceptable. Oh my god, my FPS. My game is imploding right now. You know you're having a good one though, when you can just put Wreckfest down like that. It falls apart at the seams just like us in turn one at any given opportunity, but it doesn't happen often to Wreckfest, and it seems to have fixed itself, so I guess I'll give it credit. It usually happens when we're putting it through a test like this one, like us getting squeezed through the middle of a couple of pinballers and shot down the track into a reverse 50-50 grind on the ramp. That was kind of sick. Oh, what, are you going to jump over me, dude? Oh, give Joey Gase a dub. It's over. I have eternal respect for Joey Gase now for doing that without killing us both. I might not be returning the favor here, though. Did we just take him out? Oh, thank God he's still alive. I saw his name go away, and I thought the word. I don't. I didn't know whether to be disgusted with myself or proud. I'm not exactly proud of this taking of the lead, but that is a lead change indeed. Hand it over to me. We did it by bouncing off every wall, and oh my God, the 18. Home straight, tire check, final jump here. We'll hook it around a couple of the carcasses. We've got that big old lead, but we've still got big destruction here in front of us. We got cars coming down the hill towards us. Get me on the ground so I can get out of the way. We couldn't do it in time. And as first into the fence, and now we're Tony Stewartified on the tires. I kind of have to jump over this Tony car, right, for the Joey Gay style points. That's not a great bounce. Oh, we just barely missed sliding into that 77. That could have been ugly. I'm going this way. We're taking the shortest way around. Get me to that finish line. There we go. Well, hell, Kodak may be bankrupt. But we sure aren't here today. Fly it through the air one more time. Fly it to the finish line. We are the pinball pandemonium champions once more. We'll roll through the replays here. We'll see how we found another turn one for the history books here at breakfast. Even in our victory replay, we got our asses whooped. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin to wrap this thing up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for me. All that good stuff helps me out a ton. Look down in the description. We got a bunch of links for a bunch of different social media accounts. Make sure you follow them. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.